Hello, how are you? I'm back again and today I thought I would do a quick video on my Airbnb living room and also how you can make your living space a little bit more colourful. So I'm going to flip this bad boy around, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you my Airbnb living room and also just a quick note, because of lockdown, because of Covid, I know a lot of people have kept their Airbnbs open. I have personally shut mine just because, well, the government kind of told us that like people should be traveling. So I thought I would shut mine to be a responsible host. Um, so yeah, it's not currently open. I will be opening it hopefully in a month or two months or three months, whenever lockdown is over. But for now, I thought I would just show it to you and hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration of how you can make your home a little bit more colorful. So yeah, let's let's get into it. So let me turn this around. So here is the door when you walk in. It's quite hard to see because obviously the light is kind of pouring through and making it look quite dark. But the view when you walk into the room is, so I've got two walls which are yellow, two walls which are pink. I also painted the front door to the um, bedroom pink because, well, you know, it, it just wasn't bright enough in here. But and then when I flip round here, please excuse the heater, but I've got like a vintage record player with a neon sign, and I don't know, just a few little ornaments of like an angle poised light, some little cactuses, and then on the windowsill, I've got a gold pineapple, as you do, although it should be in the middle. There we go, that's better. Nice and central. Also inside the record player, you can see it's got an old school, like an old school record player. And then I've got like loads of really cute records like this one, which I just thought was a really fun little detail. Um, the neon sign does obviously turn on. I wonder if it's plugged in. No, it's not plugged in. <laughs> oh well, I'll show it to you another day. But it's really good, I love that. And then over here, I've got a vintage sideboard, which my boyfriend actually bought. He got into a bidding war on eBay. I think it was a British Heart Foundation eBay shop, but it's just super handy for storage. Um, and then I added on a few little ornaments like this lemon jar, a little bit more cactus action. We've got a coffee maker here, but that's more for our guests. And then um, I really love these prints. They're from Paper Chase. And then over here, I've got this giant lamp, which I bought from made.com think they still do it. I've got these super cute novelty cushions because I love a novelty cushion. I got the um, donut one from Typo. I got the watermelon one from Next and I got the zebra from Matalan. So they were all super affordable. Then over here, I have all the cushions, <laughs> like all the cushions. Um, the big fluffy ones in white are from Matalan. These adorable cat ones are probably my favorite. They're from Vinnie Boy Vintage, who is on Etsy. He's amazing. The pom-pom ones are from Next. The um, yellow one at the back is also from Next. And that gray fluffy one, which is gorgeous quality, that's Sheridan. On the wall, I've got some prints, which are from Decenio. Um, I just kind of thought they were really fun. I really like the typography, especially on the stay up all night. I just thought they were really fun. I know we're not in New York, um, we're in Margate. <laughs> but I just loved the kind of the vintage travel print feel to it. And I thought the two of them looked really cute together. They're kind of like a mix of old and new. I don't know if they're meant to be displayed together, but I really like them. <laughs> um, I thought the painting the interior door pink was a really nice way to kind of add a bit extra color. Um, the cushions also add a lot of colour, which I really like. The prints were a really good finishing touch, again, adding a little bit more colour. Um, I did have a different lamp in here, and it was cream, and it just wasn't as good. So I'm super pleased I changed it to this big giant one from Made. I just think, just think it adds to the room. It's a bit, like, big. It's a bit weird. Oh, the chair. I got this from a charity shop, which just feels like the luckiest find ever actually from Habitat. It was in incredible condition, um, plus they cleaned it, and I just love it. I think it's so cute, and I, God, it wasn't even that much. It was like 40 pounds, but I just think it's probably my greatest charge shop find 
in the last two years. I'm not gonna say ever, because I found some amazing things in charity shops, but I'm really, really, really pleased with that. And again, it just adds a real pop of color. And I love the way it kind of matches the door. Before I had that chair and before I painted the door pink, this room had a bit more of a pastel feel, but I think it's just a bit more lively now it's got the pops of pink. Um, oh, the table also. Not very colourful, but I do love this. And I got this also from the British Heart Foundation. I think it was like £25 and I was so thrilled with it because I couldn't find um, a coffee table that I liked and I just loved that one. The curtains are over here. Well, they're actually blinds and they're going to be hard to see. But hopefully you can see they're really lovely and colourful. And these are by Kitty McCall, who is quite a local printmaker. She has a shop in Folkestone. Her stuff is gorgeous. She does art prints and fabrics and all sorts. But I love her. I love her designs. And I was so happy to have these curtains or blinds made out of her fabric. I just think they're so pretty. And then back over here is where the um, brick wall and the record player is. So if I pan around, hopefully you kind of get a feel for the space. This part is actually an extension, so we're lucky enough to kind of have this really cool actual brick wall. It's not an effect, it is actually like real bricks. <laughs> um which is funny because people have often said to me like oh how did you do this and it was like it is actual bricks so we <laughs> we stripped it back painted it with um masonry paint and then painted it pink and i'm just so happy with it it's such a fun texture and then with the neon sign on top i just think it's a really fun little edit detail and then to get the electrics in the room obviously you can't chase them into um, a brick wall so we did this kind of industrial feature here which I have really love I just think it's a really nice little detail and then coming back around here you can see the room from this angle oh and the front door is obviously painted pink and I added a little reef on as well <laughs> anyway that's my Airbnb living room um, I really love it I'm really happy with it it's nice and colourful. I think I introduced some really fun pops of colour with things like the walls, which, you know, can always be repainted if I decide I don't like them. Um, the blinds, which, you know, if I decide I don't like them, which I will never do, um, but they could be dyed. Um, things like the lemon could be taken out. The chair could be taken out. The cushions. Essentially, it's just kind of like a good quality off-white sofa, so I could... I could take the cushions off the chair if I wanted to tone it down, but I don't. Um, and then obviously the door could be repainted. But yeah, it's just really fun and simple ways to add colour to the room. As for the floor, so you can see my slippers. Um, <laughs> there are my slippers, they've got dogs on. As for the floor, um, this is just a really cheap one from home base. But it, it looks quite nice and I think it's quite a nice anchor for all the color um, yeah the only thing i might change at some point is the ceiling it's a bit basic um yeah yeah it's a bit basic i don't know i've always been a bit disappointed with it so let's not look at the ceiling but apart from that i i'm really happy with this room and i think it's really fun and cute and yeah the ways that i've added color in are very very like movable and also quite affordable like the cushions obviously weren't that much. Decenio prints are really affordable. The made lamp was about a hundred pounds. The chair was super cheap. That was like 40, 45. The door was obviously, oh God, like a tub of paint. Um, and even like this lamp I got on sale for like 10 pounds from B&Q. So essentially it could all kind of be pared back and toned down, but I think they're really fun and affordable ways to kind of add some color into your home and I have to say having a colorful house really like lifts the spirits <laughs> so if you are thinking about kind of trying to make your home a little bit more colorful I 100% recommend it I love living in a colorful house anyway that's my room tour I hope you like it I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration and if you have any questions please do let me know oh I should flip this around shouldn't I here I am <laughs> hello I'm just waffling on and I was like, I should probably 
do this facing the camera. Anyway, <laughs> that's my room. I hope you like it. Please do let me know if you have any questions. Um, yeah, I hope I hope you like it. I hope it was of help. I hope it was informative. And yeah, this is my Airbnb living room. So I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>